Hi, Shane, back with you again. This is Guitar at Work. Welcome. Uh, we usually do this one in week three. This is Till I Can Gain Control again by uh, Blue Radio's version of it. I understand Blue Radio didn't write it, but they did a lovely cover of it. Uh, sorry for the noise you're hearing up there. Uh, new studio in Canada, they're doing renovations. Uh, it's a little distracting, but hey, we should be able to get through it. Um, we're starting out here with an E chord. You'll see on your sheet, there's an E chord beginning things here. E, like that. And I'll get a, get a good look at that guy. Make sure you can get on that chord. Only three chords in the whole song. This song is in the key of E. We'll, we'll talk more about keys and, and why certain chords go so, uh, so well to other chords. So there's an E that we're gonna now uh, you know an E minor so it's E minor with the addition of that first finger so there we go there's your E and we're also gonna need an A chord like that and I really like this fingering two three and four you might be tempted to go one two and three lots of great players do that I just find that uh, there's not a whole lot of room in there but if you do involve the pinky um, you're gonna find that uh, you got a bit more get more leeway a bit more real estate there so there's an A like that there you go, and it sure makes it easy when you're coming from E. Here's my E again, and all that's going to happen is there these two fingers here, second and third, are going to come down toward the floor, and then add the pinky. Now, of course, you got rid of your first finger as well. So here's an E chord again, slowly. We'll get to the strum in just a sec. There's E, and here's an A chord. Ring and middle fingers are coming down toward the floor, and there's your pinky being added. That's a perfect A chord. There we go. And we're all going to head back to E. Boom. The third chord you're going to need is a B7. And notice, from E to B7, my second finger is already in the right spot. Look at that. Boom. I'm going to assemble. That's not the easiest chord to get to, for sure. That is not the easiest chord. B7. And let me do that again. Here's an E. And then middle finger is going to stay while I assemble that B7 shape. Yeah, good. And remember that thumb. Try not to have that thumb uh, leaning too far left or be coming up like that. That's just going to interfere with the strings beside you there. There's a B7. There we go. Uh, now, getting to the strum, um, there's a couple of ways you could strum this for sure, at least a couple of ways. Um, I'm going to go, before I get to the intro, oddly enough, I'll, put, I'll talk about the intro last because it's a bit of detail and you can just do a campfire song uh, version of that where I'm just going to, for now, strum it this way. One and two and three and four and there is something else going on in there we'll talk about in just a minute. But let's get our E's, A's and B's, 7's together. I'm going to concentrate on going from E to A. Play along at home with me slowly. Here's an E. Three, four, one and two and three. And I'm going to go to A here, right here. One and two and three and back to E here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And I should stress, this is not yet the order of chords as they appear in the song. We're just working those chords outside of the context of the song. Here it is again. Here's an E. Three, four, going one and two and three and four. Here's your A and one and two and three and leave it on the last step stroke as always one and two and three and here's your A right here and a one and two and three. Good. Here's an E coming and a one. This time I'm going to go to B7. Two, three. Here's a B7 coming right here and a one and two and three. Back to E here and one and let's practice again going to b7 again three four let's go one and two and three back to e coming up and one and two and three here's a little b7 again right here and one and two and three and four we're back to e there we go good so if you can get that far, you can get through the song. So if you're having trouble with getting to that B7, maybe shut the tape, uh, shut the video off, and just practice back and forth. Again, throw on a movie or something and just go back and forth uh, as many times as it takes to you feel like you own that chord. There we go. Uh, we'll be talking about the, the actual strumming here. Um, there's a nice pattern there. It's going to go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do that again. That's a really popular pattern. Let's do it again. Three, four. It's going down, down, up up down up here is again three four down down up up down up yeah burn that in i'm just going to sit on e without counting it in between sit on e with me let's do it slowly at home three four is going down down up up down up down down up up 
down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's it. Repeat that as many times as you need to. Use your pause and rewind button, and uh, I think you'll benefit from that. Uh, there's something very cool happening in that intro, uh, which is I'm going to add the pinky. When you see that E sus4, as it's written on your sheet, um, that means your pinky's going to go on. Look at this. You're going to tuck that pinky in. really crowded. You're going to tuck that pinky into the second fret of the G string. He ends up being on the same string as your first finger is, but we can leave your first finger there, and you'll see why in just a second here when we get there. So I'm going to do this. On the E, I'm going to go down and down. On this upstroke, I'm going to add that pinky, like that. And I'm going to finish the pattern up, down. On the last upstroke, I'm going to take the pinky off. So again, in slow motion, here's an E. I'm going to go down, down, pinky on. There you go. And then up, down, pinky off. So the pinky's being added on an upstroke and being removed on an upstroke as well. In context, it sounds this way. Down, down, on, up, down, off. And again, three, four, down, down, on, up, down, off. There we go. Um, let me do maybe three or four of those back to back so you can play along at home. Three, four, it's going down, down, on, up, down, off, down, down, on, up, down, off, down, down, on, up, down, off, down, down, on, up, down, off. There you go. Neat little intro for sure. Um, now, if we're playing, let's play through the song, at least the verse of the song, and uh, very, very slowly. If something bad happens, wait on an E chord. I'll shout them out and I'll meet you there, okay? No harm, no foul. Here it comes. Here's an E. Two, three, I'm sorry, right from the, right from the verse section. So we're skipping the intro, running right into the verse. Here's an E. Three, four, E. One, two, B7, go. Back to E. A coming. Two of those, right? E. Yeah. Good. We're heading back to A here. E. And a B7 right here. Back to E. Good. Now, if you've gotten that far, the chorus, it's all the same thing. It's just a different order of chords in there. Um, now, if you're really looking for a bit more detail on that, at the, end of, uh, at the end of some of those lines, you're seeing that E to E sus4 notated there. And what that's asking you to do is do the same move as in the intro. So if I play the verse again with that in mind, it'll look this way. Uh, e, down, down, up, B7. Back to E, right here. Pinky on, pinky off, and twice. And A, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Now we're back to an E with a sus. Here we go. On, down, off. Pinky on, pinky off. Back to A, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Here's an E coming. Down, pinky on. Off, yep. Here's your B7. Bam. And we're back to an E, right here. Down, down, on, up, down, off. Good. 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 But I really should stress that you can do, you can play the song, I'll call it a campfire version again, you can absolutely play it without all that fancy stuff going on. It could just be literally E and a strum that just does this. One, two, three. B7. Until you get the hang of that, that's totally reasonable. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Strongly recommend you try to play it to a to the actual recording. And uh, it's just it's like playing to a metronome. Get yourself an app that slows the music down so you don't have to play it 100 percent You can kind of build up to that. So that's Blue Rodeo's Till I Can Gain Control. Again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.